Here at the Columbus Zoo, animal welfare is our top priority. Um, in this, it includes our training program that we have with all of the animals across the zoo. Training includes everything from our guest experiences with our animals, where the giraffe will come up and feed from our visitors, all the way up to medical methods and procedures. We focus on the medical side of the behaviors in our training programs because anything that we can do as their keepers um, to assist our animal health team is, is huge. These animals are so comfortable with their keepers because they see us every day. It's part of their everyday routine. So one of the behaviors that we train here with the giraffe is blood collection. The reason why this is so important is because the information that we gain from this blood is so vital to their health and their well-being. Historically, we would find that drawing blood from their neck or their tail would be the best option. However, in working with our animal health staff, um, they brought to our attention that there is a vein that runs through their leg. And as we know, these animals are so comfortable with us trimming their hooves, working on their legs, that we thought that this could be a, really a window for us to take this opportunity. Typically what we do is we come up with a plan, because it's always best to have a plan and steps um, moving forward. And we like to take things slow, but not too slow, but go at the pace that the animal is suggesting. So how we start off first is again, we just simply touch the leg, touch the vein, so they know that we're gonna be working in that area. After that, um, we will have a, a needle in hand, um, but, it's, but it's dulled, it's not sharp at all. This allows us to actually touch the animal and apply pressure, but not break the skin. Um, once the animal's comfortable with that, then we'll move forward and we will actually you know, try for blood and go from there. We work on this quite a bit and uh, again, it's all about the comfort level of the animal. If for that day, the animal decides that they're not into it, that's okay. You know, we back up, we can take steps back. We like to say that progression involves regression and it's okay with um, this particular behavior, it was actually a pretty quick process. And we really attribute that to the comfort level and the time that the keepers spend with these animals working on their legs and on their feet. And, and truly it's that relationship that they have, um, that trust. We've also evolved into doing radiographs or x-rays with their legs and their feet. Um, this is so important because being such a large animal, you can imagine that their legs have a lot of pressure and a lot of stress on them. And we just wanna basically make sure that everything looks good. So with our radiograph behavior, again, we had to create a plan because it, it involves a lot more than just one person drawing the blood. So basically we had to talk about, there's a radiograph machine that's gonna be involved. There's a plate that they have to stand on there's multiple people, there's gloves that the keepers have to wear in order to um, hold the leg and get the actual shot. So all of these things we basically had to desensitize our animals to. So um, how we start is we simply have them step on uh, like a wood piece that would symbolize the plate. Um, and then once they're com comfortable with that, we would introduce um, a yellow box. And once we're good with that, then we would move on to a practice session. So in order to assess the health of the legs and the hooves, our animal health staff needs to have different views and different angles of the legs and all the bones. So that adds yet another element to our training. Not only is the information that we collect from this radiographs important for our animals and our zoo here, but we also collaborate with other zoos across North America. And we do this because we simply want to see if different diets affect bones differently, if different temperatures, if different substrates, all of these things which are so important to these animals, again, can be tracked through these radiographs. As with many programs around the zoo, we share our training with other zoos and we collaborate because it's so important. If we have a way that works, why not share it? Because it's benefiting all of the animals that all of us work with. So as you can see, training our animals does take a lot of time and dedication, but we're so proud of our keeper staff here at the Columbus Zoo because truly, without their patience and their commitment to these animals, we would not be able to provide the best care that we do for our animals.